Okay, the mini embroidery hoops, which you can use as a necklace or a keychain, either way. Um, so they come with the, the frame, the finishing frame, and then a little frame so that you can work in a reasonable area because you can't really work in this. This is solid, like that's just the finished frame. So once you've got your stitching all done, Unhoop it and lay it flat. Take this piece out and you want to center it so that your design is in the middle. Take a pencil and draw a line on the outside of the frame. And now we know where to trim off our excess. And you cut a little bit around this line um, maybe a quarter inch or so. dry fit. Make sure everything's lining up okay. Loosen that nut a little bit. And before you put everything together, double check to make sure your jump ring is in there because the chain is not going to go through this section. I don't know who designed these, but they did not leave enough room to actually put a chain through there or anything. So um, I put a jump ring in these kits. Just make sure that they're securely in there. All right, and do a little dry fit. That looks good, and there's a little bit of excess on the back, which is good. Right. Now, because this is gonna get handled more than regular hoops that just hang on the wall, you're gonna wear it as a necklace or use it as a keychain or something interesting like that. You're gonna run a little bit of glue on the inside everything secure and also um, stop the fabric from fraying as time goes on. Okay, now that I have sticky fingers and I'm gonna have to clean my cutting mat. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna reline that up in there. Make sure your jump ring isn't in the way. Reline everything up.
scoops do not want to stay open. There. And you're just pulling your edges a little bit. Or just, you know, pull it all the way through. down Make sure everything's nice and tight. And then you can trim off. Actually, if you have a pair of nail scissors, they work best because they are on a little curve. to that edge. Push it back in. Tighten it all the way down. Now this is a Phillips head, so if you have a little screwdriver, that might help. Hold everything in place. the one that comes with the kit or you can put something else in there. Carefully, carefully, carefully. There we go. Voila, cool necklace. All right, the initial ones. Uh, my daughter Lex made this one. So um, we're gonna frame it up. Now here's another idea. You can also paint these frames before you hoop everything up, just give it 24 hours to dry. All right, this one works a little bit different than the oval frame um, because there's two pieces on here. So, same as before, you'll take your um, outside frame, kind of center everything up, You can leave a little bit more around this one because it's all going to get tucked in and glued in the back. You'll see what I mean in a second. So maybe half inch on this one.
sticky, sticky. glue on my hand. Just be gentle. Whoop. These are a little bit fiddly. you're happy with where that's at Go ahead and push it till it's at the forefront and then you can squeeze your hoop together alright now you've got excess fabric in the back Couple dots of glue. That'll help to hold everything in place between the fabric and the outside of the frame. We have a lot of excess fabric. You can go ahead and trim that off. Fold these bits in the best you can. Put a little bit of glue on the outside. clamp or two to hold it all together or you can throw the clamp across the room whatever Just make sure it's all lined up on the back and then you'll want to put another clamp over here but I just threw mine across the room so and then Give that, you know, overnight or whatever to dry, and then you can run your chain through it. And you'll have a fantastic necklace or keychain, whichever. I provide you 24 inches of this um, chain because I just assume people are going to put whatever they want in there, you know. So there you go. Um, I'd love to see your finished projects. Um, you can tag me on Instagram at Hacks and DIY. And uh, I'll follow you back. All right, thanks. Have a great day.